You All right. To the lethality complex. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I reckon then uh, we we've, we've we've shared uh, a recipe from the Underdark. Uh, we have uh, we, we've had some table talk. We've had some uh, uh, some yummy food, and uh, I think we should uh, get back into things here. Uh, although I'm kind of curious as to why this should be playing. Okay, well, hopefully it will. I might have forgot to put a uh, one of my musics on. Uh, on cycle. All right. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, so we are. The party is kind of back together. Uh, I am going to rewind uh, one step from Casimir and Bright, uh, then to introduce this uh, this person who has come out to solicit Casimir, uh, and then we will pardon have the party uh, catch up and uh, we can proceed forward from here. Uh, so, uh, Casimir, as you and Bright were having a conversation uh, outside uh, outside the robin's nest with its beautiful blue egg-shaped uh, uh, lanterns out front, um, you, were, you were discussing things, and uh, Bright was kind of looking around nervously, and uh, you, are, uh, you are approached with a little bit of a surprise because uh, she was behind you. Uh, but she wrapped her tail around and kind of woo, kind of goes underneath your nose, and you're catching a, a whiff of sort of like a, a perfume, not very flowery. But it would be something more like a sandalwood, uh, more of like a, an exotic spice, uh, like a warm scent. <clears throat> uh, with that, and uh, and then you feel a hand on your shoulder, and this uh, this this person uh, you know whispers down to you as kind of like lo also looking up at the establishment. Are you looking for entertainment? Um, not at the moment. Then what are you seeking? Perhaps I would be able to help you. <laughs> um, uh, we are just waiting for Oh, uh, we do have group rates, if you'd prefer. <laughs> it's been a little bit slow today, what with the awkward parade and all. I'm sure we could give you all a deal. I will ask them if they are interested. Very well. Shall I wait for you inside, or would you prefer perhaps someone on your shoulder here to, uh, to walk around or to show to others that you have what it takes? Um, <clears throat> it, it is fine. Um, no, no need to stay. Ah. Very well. Well, I will look for you inside then. You can't blame a girl for trying, or, well, if I'm not your type, then perhaps there are others, um, men and women of uh, useful skill, that uh, will be able to help you out. And uh, so this, uh, this tiefling does, um, she kind of orbits you uh, once more, and again uses the, the tip of her tail to... To put a little flick of uh, of perfume, like just right, right on your nose, uh, and and so the as she's walking away, you still can't help but smell uh, her presence. Uh, even is it even? It's not overpowering in a sickening fashion, but it certainly suppresses the smell of the docks. You know, the, the water. You know, some of the like the fish and the activity and sweat and grime and all this. Um, so you know, Casimir, you're you're smelling really nice with a a nice kind of a sandalwood uh, scent, and so this is then uh, the other three approach as you see a uh, as you see a female tiefling uh, give a little tail flick to Casimir like a little boop on the nose, um, and uh, and saunters off in a a bit of a uh, you know a, a, a slinky fashion, and oh. Because of the tail flick, she must have completely forgot her tail was still up and perhaps even, like, showing more than just her ankles. 
uh, to Casimir as she was walking back to the uh, establishment, to the, the house of ill repute over here. Um, so she is, uh, she returns, and the three of you are now on the scene. Uh, they're standing Casimir, um, and uh, there's other people coming and going, so perhaps the, the little ragamuffin that it's, uh, that's around uh, isn't necessarily as noticeable as Casimir, who is definitely, um, you know, wasn't exactly a, a lady in red here, but... Um, uh, there, there's a, certainly a distraction going on. So is he still staring at her? Watching her go by? Casimir, are you watching the the tiefling lady uh, pass you by and go back into the into the nest? Mm. Lean into it. Maybe. <laughs> of course, Mordecai would notice that you're still staring. Casimir's distracted. We'll put it that way. Mm. What? Are you jealous? No, she's pretty. <laughs> you look like you can need a distraction. I have advantage, but I am not immune. <laughs> Uh, Bright, if you want to try and slink off, then you can roll a uh, you can roll a stealth uh, at advantage, since everyone's kind of talking and is otherwise distracted by the uh, the things on the map. I would definitely try to disappear just as soon as I realized that Jacob was here. Okay. Um. Oh come on! <laughs> I'm as bad at stealth as I am at perception. Uh, Eleven or thirteen? Well, so that's, eleven. That's not above my passive. Um, way below my passive. All right, so uh, you all are, are talking here, and uh, and so you know, Casimir's. Uh, oh, what's that? She is disguised, though. She is, yeah. So, uh, so there was the advantage. Um, there, uh, you all see that there was a, a small character. Um, that there was a small character that might have been hanging around uh, Casimir here, uh, who starts kind of slinking away. Uh... Who's, your, who's your friend? It is, uh... Priestess. Oh, please, go on. Priestess, I would suggest end up grabbing your little one before they end up uh, toddling off so far as to be absolutely useless and potentially end up uh, putting your this whole endeavor at risk. Quite. Reach. <laughs> um... Well, please do tell us more about this exploit and conquest. Were you just finishing, or were you just beginning? I was just offered nothing more. <clears throat> That's why I like you here, Mr. Ashuriel. You hear here quick to the point and a man of modesty. Uh, real quick to uh, to take a uh, th 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 that conversation with Casimir can happen here. Uh, as you, I mean, you do see a small figure that is slinking away. Um, investigator Jacob Stillwaters make an investigation to see if if this is um, more than plausible to suggest that it is overtly bright because she did do a very good job at hiding. <clears throat> Ooh. Um, okay, so this could very well be given the neighborhood uh, with a ten here. Um, we'll say that, uh, so we're, we're going to walk back the, to, to get the, to get the bright command of Celine here. Um, so you don't recognize it's bright. There is a, <clears throat> there's a small figure that is in a more dangerous part of town. And given the fact that there has been some looting and other things going on, uh, it, it could be the case that, uh, you know, not that gnomes or halflings can't work on sailing ships. Um, but if this figure was uh, hanging around close to Casimir, uh, you might want to ask Casimir if uh, he's missing anything out of his pockets or otherwise. There, there's, there could be something suspicious going on. Uh, but at this point, you wouldn't know that it's bright. Uh, and then bright. I mean, you're you're trying to get away here, uh, and and so maybe you you like stumble over some rope that's you know kind of like left out, and you know you you stumble and bumble a little bit. Maybe you give a. You know, like a, uh, like a, a little uh, or a, some other gnomish sound. Um, Are you okay, little one? 
there was a there was a trip wire I tripped on it. You have to watch where their feet are going. Uh Casimir, is that who is who is that? That is the little one. Ah. Um, just for perpetuity's sake, I'm gonna make an inside check to make sure that Celine knows, just to make sure that Celine actually knows what Casimir is meaning by when he says little one. Ah, gotcha. No, you, you don't even need to make a check. I'm gonna do it anyway. Well, it's a good thing you like, didn't need to make a check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it's it's like, heavily implied uh, who better. and or what little one is. Right, it's fine. We've come to an understanding. So if you help us with this endeavor, we can get all the charges dropped, and you won't be you won't be a fugitive anymore. But you have to help us. Where is all this taking place? Uh, we'll say that uh, you were standing, uh, you all were standing kind of a mid distance away from the establishment, like right here. And so as the party was uh, was approaching, uh, we we kind of have this lady who's using a. Uh, uh, a whip or some kind of a, a rope here to lasso a customer. Uh, so, so we'll say there, of course there, you know, there's other people who are offering uh, solicitations of service that are going on. Um, and so you would, you'd probably be standing off to the side a little bit, like maybe over here by these sacks um, while Casimir was, was like over here and the others, uh, the others have approached. Um, and so I don't know, maybe like oofed into a, a sack of grain or potatoes or something along those lines. Okay. Ah, uh, so so everybody's in in your shot then. Uh, there's a lot of background. I, I guess everyone theoretically could be within earshot, uh, though there but is probably not listening. The, uh, yeah, I mean, the, there's a lot of distractions around uh, that are you know easy on the ears and eyes. Um, it sounds like someone's definitely having a, a good time up on the third floor, uh, which is also <laughs> adding uh, which is adding to the chorus uh, of music to the street. I'm glad somebody's having a good time. Uh, I don't want to say anything right now. Yep, that's perfectly fine. Yeah. Just don't run off. <laughs> so are we... Where are we going out of the city? Is that our plan? To follow these things? Somebody? <laughs> so, uh, basically Everyone's distracted by the eye candy, I guess. And, uh, I was just, just sitting around like, oh, well. The, the, so, the, 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 the implied orgy can wait. Yeah, so I know, I'm not, I know I'm not hidden, but I want to still kind of slink behind one of the little bags. Sure. And I want to I wanna poke Celine with my mage hand and motion her to come over. Oh, okay. All right, so so disguised bright here is kind of like peeking up over some potatoes, and is gonna and uh, poke poke. And so, uh, Celine, Celine, you're you're being beckoned to a pile of uh, potato sacks. Yep. Um, I yeah, I'll come over. So, I uh, probably to translate some draconic. We think that this is probably the next clue here. I can, I can, I can do, I can do that for you. Just, but yeah, no, everything is, everything is fine and safe. You can travel with us again and not get <coughs> locked up. Are you sure? I mean, you know yes, how I'm... how Jacob is with the law. How would he? Oh, we sorted is... it. We sorted it out with Jacob. We saw we sorted it out with him, so he's actually the one who agreed to this. Uh, he's the one who agreed to this to this uh, entire charade, oh. as it were. A charade. charade. <laughs> I don't. I don't like that. I don't well, like the sound of it. it. <laughs> well, to be fair, it is a charade in so far that we are kind of subverting the law. We're not breaking it. We're just bending it a lot. <laughs> Okay. Um, so, 
So if you just boil them long enough, you can... <laughs> you can... Sorry, Brian. It gets all floppy. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Floppy. So... I can translate um, the draconic for you. Okay, so my guess is that what will happen is we'll, we'll go in the in the building and there will be, I don't know, probably like one of the, one of the, um, we'll probably come up and then all of a sudden they'll like turn silver and talk in draconic. Or maybe um, there will be like a little hat or something in there, something like that. Okay. Well, we'll we'll, uh, we'll 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 do that then. Okay. We'll, uh, uh, we'll and then we, it'll it'll only take a minute, and then maybe we can follow the giants again. That's if one of us doesn't get lured into, uh, you know. I don't think that's gonna happen to me. I can't speak for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's not a very nice thing to say, but when you're right, you're right. <laughs> Politeness and correctness are uh, two different things, though. So. <laughs> yeah. Hey. So, I would like to come on, Selena. I would like to just like go inside the door and see what it's like in there. Sure. Okay. They'll, they'll probably tell me I, I'm not allowed in. Um, um, not, and not, I don't, unless, not unless you can prove your age. Which is kind of funny because I'm probably older than all of them put together. <laughs> probably. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Except maybe Kazan. Oh uh, no, I, I meant in the in the place. Oh yeah. Depends on who many things. Celine will lay down to Bright and whisper to it. Because I don't have that spell right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, then how did you get to the city? Oh, I mean, I can change my shape, but not my size. Oh, no, no, no. You just... I don't know, change into a halfling? Yeah, I could do that. I, I could... I could... I could do that. Uh, I don't want to. Why don't we just try it and see what happens? All right. How did you say? I could always try to hide. That always works really well. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, those, 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 those giants are pretty important, but there's also something up there that's rather important, too, that I've had my attention brought to. So, uh, investigator, why don't we, uh, investigate what's going on? <laughs> are, are you indicating towards the, uh, towards the, yeah, uh, so that, okay. like, and by that I don't mean partaking of the services. I mean actual investigation. What would, uh, ha what would I have to end up doing with the affairs that are currently going on over there? And over that point, first the Fomorians, and then to the uh, burning building. So, like, that? She points to the burning building. There's not a lot we can do about that. And I'll tell you why, when we get into private, I will tell you why exactly that is. Because it's rather sensitive magical information, I'm sure you... I've dealt with that before. As for them... We have a tracker in the party. If need be, we can pick up their trail once more. Not a problem. You're making a lot of assumptions, Celine. It's like maybe, but uh, the what thing is, that... do you have that uh, us spending time in there is going to interfere? According to any further information that we could possibly gather. What evidence do I have? What would make you do the assumption that going in there would end up assisting us in any which way outside of knowing exactly what, where the problem is there or there? Uh, Bright, should I tell them or do you want to? Uh... Oh, I would love to hear this. 
So, as you know, Mr. Halver was the inhabitant of the, was the former inhabitant of the tower, and he left behind a puzzle. I think that the puzzle, well, the fire, uh, and Get rid of the tower. The, the puzzle is like a little scavenger hunt. It's a lot of fun, um, or it would be fun, you know, in a, in a better time. It's still a little fun. And is we have to find a robin's egg nest. And that's what this place is. It's called the robin's nest. And look, it even has little blue eggs. So we think that the next clue will probably be in here. I'm sorry, who's Mr. Halver? Uh, he's the guy who lived in the building that turned into that's the flame tower. Yeah. Uh, he was also the owner of the uh, of the shack when you found us out on the uh, out on the coast. Oh, okay. He was also a uh, mentor of Celine Pat's Ah. Yeah. He mentored Celine's butt. I mean, we've been putting together clues from a couple of riddles. The riddle led, and the the latest riddle led us here, so the next one must be in there somewhere. And and it has to be me and Celine because I think I'm the trigger for them, but it's always in Draconic and Celine's the only one who knows Draconic. Hmm. As far as I know, unless somebody else knows Draconic. I have a spell that lets me understand all languages, but that's about it. Yeah. Uh, so, more so, spells. Oh. Um, Investigator, we, I mean, live, we, live in a, we live in a world of... Unfortunately, when you came across us, you kind of got dragged into it. So... Uh, Selene and I just go in, and it'll only take a minute. At least for the part that I care about. Hey. Yes, I'm talking about going in and actually investigating, not, you know, partaking of the services within. Very well, then. On your honor. Ooh, Jacob's floating a lot of a lot of credit to people. Hopefully, uh, he's not going to get burned by it here. Uh, so yeah, we will. We know this. Is coming. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. So, who is going to explore the clue then? It was Celine, Bright, and anyone else, or was it just you two? Casimir, Mordecai, Jacob, are you staying on the street? I wouldn't yep. know what to look for. I kind of know what to look for, but I don't think it'll happen for me, so. I think it's just a... Uh, oh. I'm not saying we can't go in, but... Hey! <laughs> look, Wouldn't it, hurt! Look, it, it, look, it, look if, it, if it were a better day, and I wasn't totally broke. <laughs> okay. Um. Sure, so we'll have Celine and Bright... Uh, are yeah. taking a field trip together uh, into uh, cool. into this place, and um, the closer you get, you you do, you do smell all kinds of uh, perfumes, and it's actually pleasant compared to the general atmosphere uh, of the docks. Uh, it does look like there's a, a couple a couple customers on their way out, um, and behind uh, behind a like a a, a booth. Kind of like what we'd see at like a you know a, a, a hostess station at a at a restaurant in our our world in our time. Uh, there is a very, a very fabulous tiefling man, who has a fabulous mustache as well. <laughs> Sweeties, and just what can I do for you? I still have my mask on, by the way. Just as a note. Um, it's like, we're looking for something. Something something in particular. Do you mind if we have a look around? Oh, there's no need to look. I'll provide you a menu. And which services are you seeking? Hmm, how do 
Oh, and okay. he goes down a list that I'll just keep redacted for PG-13 purposes. <laughs> it's like, whilst all of this is very interesting, well, looking for something else. There what? is something here. Something very important. Arguably a necessity of life. Well, I mean, on that, uh, I mean, on that one, depending on which way you want to put it, I would be inclined to agree. But if you're not here seeking companionship from someone else, and he looks at you, Celine looks down to Bright. Uh, after a, a couple of simple steps for security, uh, you could rent a room by the hour. We have just such a wonderful couple suite, no questions asked, and um, press and digitation services are offered afterwards. Well. It is good to see such an establishment uh, taking the easier route to get things cleaned. However, hmm. darling, like, no. quit beating around yeah. the bush and just tell me what you're looking for. You have no need to be embarrassed. I've seen and done it all, or at least most of it. Riddle let us here, but it doesn't actually tell us what we're looking for. Um, is that a character, mind you? Um, da, 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 da. Uh, hmm. How do I put it? All sorts we're of ways, darling. We're looking for someone who has a piece of information. A is... riddle, more specifically. Ah, so you're someone who's uh, a little smart, perhaps. You could say that. We have some smart boys and girls. Any that know Draconic? Oh, that's a new question. Oh, my. Let's see. Hmm... He, he goes to pronounce a couple a couple words, and he's very much enunciating like the, the facial muscles as he's trying to speak a couple of the words. Ooh, not that one. Hmm. Well, I can I can honestly say I've never had anyone ask that specific question, uh, but yes, in fact, uh, we do have someone who is very well versed. Uh, she can be found in her nest. We keep a dragonborn on staff, as there are certain people into certain people. Tastes. Hmm, and, our, and our blue beauty would absolutely be wonderful to translate <laughs> anything that you want. So, she's hmm. blue? Oh, yes. Beautiful blue. I think she's just the one we're looking for. Mm, quite. I feel almost like we've been struck by lightning. That's a service that we can accommodate as well, but perhaps not to <laughs> such a lethal extent. A few of our ladies know a very shocking grasp. <laughs> oh my. But it, if you'd like to see our... <laughs> If you'd like to see our blue beauty, then I will be happy to inquire if she's uh, open for business. Uh, if you'll excuse me, please wait in the lobby. And he gets down and uh, he uh, saunters up the stairs uh, in a very, uh, very alluring fashion. Um, uh, Selena whispered a bright to go to Mordecai and get some money. Because <laughs> he has the body fund. I have, I have some money. Do you, have a, do, do, do you have enough to pay a high-class escort? Because I don't think... You're only going to need her for a few seconds. 
Yeah, but I mean, what's the it, rate it, per it would, second? <laughs> it, it, it would be it would be rude to not buy an hour. Is the thing. It's professional courtesy. An hour minimum. Okay. <laughs> For all of you in the audience, it's probably a good thing you can't see the Roll20 chat right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially because I'm only fan in the flames, and I have a reputation to maintain. I say it as I'm wearing a giant fake mustache on stream, too. So. <laughs> oh, but no, um, it, it's professional courtesy to at least pay for an hour, so, you know. Hey, well, I, I think I have enough. If there's anything that needs to be done, I, I, I'll, 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 I'll take the bullet and explain for more later. Yeah, of course. I don't think it would, it would work with me. Hey, you've had your chance to make your claim and you decide to be obstinate. That's your fault. <laughs> uh, as you're having this, uh, this uh, conversation, the. Uh proprietor or at least the host um uh returns back down as it so happens she is uh free at the moment uh, though she can only squeeze you in for about an hour that should be an more hour than enough. Fine. wonderful it will be 30 gold pieces please okay And uh, you're going to saunter up to the counter and pay? Yep. Yeah, I'll pay. All right. Now, my darlings, before I bring you up there, I must uh, perform a, a routine check to make sure that all is in order. Uh, we do uh, pride ourselves on the uh, safety and the hygiene of our establishment, as well as making sure that uh, perhaps some little rapscallions don't end up in here before their time. If you'll follow me, uh, there's a uh, particular chamber that I will be taking you to uh, for the examination. Okay, I'll follow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> you're not that far off uh, there, uh, Derek. Um, so, you know, he will ask to, uh, uh, he will ask to, you know, give you a cursory check uh, and... I can't say off the top of my head what they would do as far as, uh, you know, because it's not like there's government issued ID per se, not like driver's licenses that we have now. Uh, but we'll say that, that you can, yeah, you can, you can sufficiently convince the host uh, that you aren't just uh, whatever, some young scamp on a dare trying to, you know, trying to earn his manhood or womanhood uh, by sneaking in and uh, receiving uh, the, uh, the, the custom of this place. Um, so you, uh, you are satisfactorily, uh, examined and you are led up, uh, to a, uh, to a room, uh, on the third floor next, uh, next to the room that was noisy and is noisy no longer. Um, so things must, uh, settle down. And when you're taken in, uh, you see that, uh, there, this place uh, as a pillow house earned its name as there is a large, uh, effectively like a bowl of a bunch of brown pillows. That is just going all around, and uh, sitting uh, sitting in the center of it uh, is a very uh, alluringly uh, dressed uh, blue dragonborn, and uh, she even took the time to put some makeup on her scales and to uh, um, and to uh, just sort of gussy herself up a little bit here for you. Uh, she's reclining back. Uh, she's reclining back at the edge of the the nest here in her pillows. Well, do come in. And uh, and so the, the, the host uh, says, I'll be back to fetch you, darlings, in an hour. Call if you need anything! And he saunters off. <clears throat> come and sit. Okay, so Celine, you... Uh, you go and uh, you're sitting on the pillows, uh, and you there, little one. You're up here for a reason. Don't be shy. You've made it this far. And yeah. she she uses one of her like three like her big fingers to come now. Definitely here for some kind of reason. 
possibly not right, the reason you're expecting. Okay, I'll go up and sit. Uh, I may be your first, but you aren't mine. Don't be shy. <laughs> no, not the, not the first. <laughs> Hopefully not the last. <clears throat> well, that depends on how these next few games go. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've paid good coin to be here, and I imagine that you've looked over... Mm, the th opportunities available in this room. And so tell me, it's your time. We can sit and chat. Some people are very much into that. Or we can get to business. Which will it be? We, as in the both of us, and Celine gestures to Brad as well, are looking for a riddle. And uh, Celine then adds on Indraconic. A riddle in the native tongue. Oh. You speak... Uh, she'll switch over to it, uh, to you, Celine. You speak our language well. You have... Uh, you have studied uh, very thoroughly. And she'll think, hmm, I've never had anyone ask for a riddle before. I suppose I could think of something. And she, she offers like a kind of a... Almost like a nursery rhyme riddle uh, to you in Draconic. How about that? Like, hmm. As she's still laying back, like, so her, her legs are crossed at the knee and she's just, like, on the pillows, like, her arms are out like this, very relaxed. Hmm. I, st I see. Selena is just thinking for a few moments. Um, she probably knows the answer to the riddle too, considering it's of a nursery rhyme level. <laughs> um, and she thinks for a few moments. She's like, oh yeah, I have a couple of other questions for you. <laughs> have you ever seen hint? Of a silver dragonborn anywhere? Silver even, dragonborn? Even, even, even if it's not physically? Even if... Even in dreams, visions, and the like? Uh, my dear, I'm not here to divulge client information, uh, nor am I here to be the one to be uh, talked to or analyzed. Of course, I play that part very well, and we've had uh, many uh, psychological sessions uh, on the pillows. Now, I believe that you are the one that I'm supposed to serve, or perhaps you, and he looks to you, or she looks to you, Bright, um, and she starts leaning forward uh, in a very provocative fashion. Uh, her, uh, her clothing is, uh, is quite revealing in this case. Now, speak up, please. You don't want to make a girl beg. And she starts crawling over towards you, and as she does, there's, uh, you know, I'm kind of doing a, a, a on the verge fade to black here. Um, but uh, you do see that uh, with the the nature of her her negligee uh, and the uh, fullness of her physique, uh, there there between the. Uh, swaying presentation she's offering you to try and convince you to speak more uh, Bright, you see a little silver dragon kind of pop up between and speak What does it say? Uh, rar, rar, rar Gur, gur, draconic, draconic So frustrating And then it I mean, I brought... disappears back so, so that right there that just popped up. Your little, do you have a little friend? Uh, I could go get one. If no, that's what you it like. was, it was right there. Right. Oh. right. And she right. looks. Well, <laughs> I don't blame you for your eyes coming here. Many, many do. Uh, though I assure you, I don't have a little friend there. Only. Myself. 
Okay. Um, I'm gonna try to repeat the, the words. Uh, sorry for, for this, because I don't actually speak this language, but uh, this, is, this is what I heard, and if either of you can make sense of it, please let me know. And I wish I had a better portent to use. Can I try to repeat the words? Uh, make an intelligence check. Yeah. It's not like you've been low, oh, rolling low or anything. <laughs> oh, guidance it. Okay. Yeah, so you kind of... Nice. Yeah, I'll guidance it. 16 total. Okay. All right. So it's the with same as I would have had with important <laughs> <laughs> with with uh, her in this uh, uh, provocative state, uh, looking at you very curiously as you're talking about a little friend and pointing uh, to her anatomy and uh, and then you start repeating something um, in a pretty good uh, a, a pretty good uh, cadence of draconic here. Um, you might stumble on a, on a couple things, but between the native speaker. And Celine here, uh, that should be enough to put things together. And I will, I will repeat it for everyone to listen to, and I'll also write it out for you to. Um, I'll yeah, also yeah. write it out here for you to read. Just have to. Okay. Oh, did that? Uh, yeah, it came through. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, it, yeah. I saw where it broke it or something. All right. And so as you repeat it. Uh, here between our, our professional uh, madam here and Celine, um, just our recreational madam, uh, is, are, are the following words translated from Draconic. We are airy little creatures, all of different voices and features. One of us in glasses set, one of us you'll find in jet. And obviously, you know, get ye flask times we're talking about the, the black, the gem, not the, you know, pew pew airplane. The other you may see in tin, and the fourth a box within. If the fifth you should pursue, it can never fly from you. Shout aloud the answer true. And so she sits back in a very languid pose and is just sort of like booping the end of her snoot uh, as she is in a, 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 you know, I mean, she's presuming you're here for a reason so she's she's trying to promote that but she's also legitimately thinking about this as well okay that is the reason we came here answer I, I'm, I'm stumped <laughs> Celine do you have any ideas oh, oh my going? darling okay. have a better body image you're not stumped you're simply short <laughs> Ah. Oh my. <laughs> now that. That. Is what we came to hear. Now. We have quite a bit of time remaining. And I plan to put it to good use in professional courtesy. Okay, I'm gonna go outside and talk to okay. Mordecai and Casimir and Jacob about this. But thank you very much, Miss. Um, I don't, I don't think we got your name, and, and maybe you like it that way. Uh, what, what did they call you? The, 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 a, the egg, something like that. I could I certainly go by that. A uh, blue is a, a very good term that people use for me as well. Okay, well, um, very much for your time. Uh, you and Celine can do whatever it is that Celine wants to do, and I'll be I'll be on my way now. So thank you very much, and um, okay, bye. Oh, you shy little creature. Very well. Toodles. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Uh, for those of you in the street, some time has passed, and you see bright uh, kind of tip 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 out of the. Establishment. Welcome back. Well, she gave us the. Marceline. Uh, she uh, had some additional business.
Guess you're not the only one in her life. <laughs> pew pew! Shots fired. <laughs> Sorry. No. It's maybe fine. maybe I should have brought her with. <laughs> should have made her leave. Uh, what did you find out? Oh, this is the riddle. Um, and uh, I tell them the riddle. I don't want to say the whole thing. Hmm. That's. That's her. That's got me stumped. Yeah. Actually, have I heard this one before? Maddie? For purposes of the, the, the challenge at hand, I will say no. Now, I'm sure you've played riddles in word games. Uh, so, you know, in, in other contexts, perhaps, that you have here. Um, but uh, I, I will say this one in particular is uh, is not instantaneously coming to mind. Hmm. Uh, Celine, make make a charisma save, please. <laughs> it's fine. Can do that. You can say that now. I'm good at Yeah, I'm good at a lot of things as far as the rules are concerned. Doesn't mean that the <laughs> dice one will anywhere higher than three. Mm -hmm. Um You guys take it, I can't e I can't even look at this brittle at this point. That's fine. I I I I, now, I, I do know the answer. As as a DM, uh, because not everyone may know it out of character, uh if you want to approach it through your character's style of thinking, I may be able to offer a hint through... Uh, now, it would be a, a, a dice roll, but of course I'm open to narrating it and modifying it in some way. But you can offer to think about it through a particular skill, or uh, I don't know if you have a, a spell or a feat or something that may be able to help. Um, I'm going to... cast on myself enhance ability and I'm going to try and approach this from a performance perspective does it sound like a song of any kind does it sound like uh sure uh go ahead and make a performance then uh, with enhance ability you get to do this at advantage yes I'm enhancing this is eagle splendor charisma. Uh -uh. You said a performance check? Uh, well, that's yeah. what you're looking for, and that's fine. Yes. All right, yes. so a 25 or a 16. I guess we're going to keep that 25. And so, so you're, much you're, performance. You're, you're having a, a kind of a, a sing-song, you know. We are very little creatures, all of different voice and features. One of us in glasses set, one of us you'll find in jet, the other you may see in tin, and the fourth a box within. If the fifth you should pursue, it can never fly from you. Hmm. Makes a good song. Hmm. Um, in particular... Odd. It seems... It does seem something kind of whimsical, something... Um... You know, the, this would be this. Uh, uh, you're getting a bardic feeling about whatever this could end up being. Mm. Uh, Celine, some time has passed. I need you to make another charisma save, please. Can you do that? Okay. <clears throat> uh, Casimir Bright or Jacob, would uh, any of you like to noodle on this, or are you diverting your eyes or being like, oh, hey, look at that person? doing other things over there. I have no clue. Okay. <laughs> I, do, I don't even want to try to wrap that around that. Okay. Yeah, let's yeah. try something delicate. Mordecai, yeah, you, you can else. continue if you'd like. 
If nobody else wants to try, I'm mm -hmm. gonna try it from a historical perspective or an arcane perspective. Sure. If... You tell me which. Um. I will yeah, tailor I wanna... an answer. I want to see if this means like components of a spell, or if this means something, or if it's words to a spell. Ah, sure. Okay. Very good line of thinking. Go ahead and roll a roll an arcana. So this is a straight up fifteen. You know, not not bad. Um, you know, it's it's talking, you know, glass and jet, tin, um, all these things. That, you know, some of these are are arcane components, uh, or if not components, they even could end up being some kind of a uh, spell focus uh, mm -hmm. for others. And there, and so you're you're getting another clue here that yeah, you know, now that you're thinking about it. You know the, the way spells are cast. They use materials. They, they use. Uh, um, they, they also use. Uh, you know, there, there's three main ways to cast the spell: verbal, somatic, and material. And uh, and you know, because it, it's talking about creatures and all this other stuff. So the answer could very well be along the lines of something something bardic in a way. So if we're creating a Venn diagram in your mind, we have bardic stuff. You know, the things that bards are generally known to do or like or favor. And then we have arcane stuff. And not that bards aren't arcane, but we're talking... I mean, there's a lot of things wizards and sorcerers do that bards don't. So there's plenty of real estate outside of this overlap area as you're creating these little this little Venn diagram of, um, of clues. Uh, Celine, as uh, time is still passing and Mordecai is noodling over this, I need you to make another charisma save, please. Yep. Just don't fail me now. Oh. Okay. Ooh, that's a... So, uh, as the hour is almost up, Mordecai, you're thinking about this. The others of you are in the dock district, and, you know, whether it's a little sing-song or you're like, ah, weird, like, what does tin have to do with glass and you know their materials people like use them maybe in buildings um from the third floor there is a, a little bit of a chorus well not a chorus per se uh but there is a voice that is uh pouring out of the window in a very heightened state we'll put it uh this is a very familiar voice especially you to mordecai because you've probably heard this voice in such a state before <laughs> As, as <laughs> and uh, you are uh, you're contemplating this and then your your keen ears are the first to pick this up and you just look up and Celine is definitely uh, uh, enjoying herself she's singing a song she is and as you hear her her bird song oh we can keep it uh, we can keep it like this as you hear her bird song and Celine is just saying, A, E, I, O, vowels. You. That's the answer. We figured it out. They're vowels. Yeah. Vowels. And sometimes why? <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Why? And sometimes why? Why? Sometimes why? And so Mordecai, <laughs> in this moment, uh, okay, bard now. stuff, arcane stuff, and with a little bit of help from Celine, as she is singing out uh, in joy. Um. <clears throat> oh, <throat> verbal components, yeah. Verbal components, bard stuff about poetry and rhyming and the vowels. If you look at the if you look at the form of the riddle, it quite gives it away. One is set in the word glass, one is in jet, one is in tin, and one is in a ball. Yeah, I just call that out. Vowels. Okay. Might have to be me. Vowels. Vowels. It's vowels. Vowels. Hmm, nothing seems to be immediately happening. 
This is harder for me because we have different vowels in English. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's a little ethnocentric. I understand. We'll just have to say something's <laughs> lost in translation. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say the vowels are draconic once I'm finished. <laughs> um, so yeah, you, you're saying vowels bright and nothing seems to be happening. How about A E I O U? A U. Uh, all right, so you say A E I O U. Uh, still nothing. A. E-I-O-U-A-E-I-O-U. Oh, sorry. You forgot why. Oh, only sometimes. <laughs> it's wise day off today. <laughs> Does it have you to know, be in Draconic, right? Does it in have Elvish, to be... Y is always spelled. Oh. Yeah, okay. Well, it might, but... We'll just have to wait for Celine to, to come back. Mm. Okay. Um. So, <laughs> you're too clever by half. Well, that may that may kind of be in the realm of riddles, kind of legitimate there, Casimir. <laughs> That's not where I was intending to go with that, but. <laughs> If it did actually come down to that, because I didn't even catch that because I added that on at the end, I, I probably would have accepted it. So, don't don't give up that cleverness. <laughs> I am clever in the wrong places. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right. So, Celine, uh, you are, um, you are, uh, press digitized, and you are leaving the facility, and there are the others just kind of sitting around on the pier, uh. I always slipped over that. Um, but yeah, uh, I will travel downstairs, not really flinching any. Okay, so two things. Uh, first, what's the word for vowels in draconic? And I'll say it. Okay. Buck, 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 buck. Okay. <laughs> And second, I think you two need a moment, so I'll be over here. Okay, bye. Uh, Casimir and Jacob, are you sticking around next to Mordecai and Celine? This is their business. Okay. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right. Oh, look at that. Fresh apples right out of the barrel way over here. All right. Casimir? I'm, I'm good here. Okay. <laughs> All right, so it's Casimir, Selene, and Mordecai. <laughs> How much is it? Should we... Uh, the, the, we figured, yeah, they figured out the answer to the riddle, so... Yes. Have fun. I know you're upset, Mordecai. No, not upset. Mordecai. Selene. <laughs> you know, you know, out of everyone in this party, that you're unable to lie to me, right? I can attempt to. You can attempt. <laughs> Think of it okay. this way: it was simple professional courtesy and nothing more. Monta guy, if you need someone to talk to, and yes. <laughs> not to mention, not, not to mention, well, in your current state, kind of, cannot, not without major feeding, which is bad because the last time you did that, you almost killed me. Fair enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I know. I, 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 I get it. Yeah. So, uh, then we'll let cool. then we'll let bygones be bygones and let the water pass under the bridge. Hmm? You guys seem to be in toxic relationship. What would you know about that? Yeah, not too much, but I would not try to kill a significant other. He didn't mean to. It was a, it was a complete accident. <laughs> trust me, if it trust me, if it wasn't, he wouldn't have a head. To be fair, Celine. See, but that is what they mean. 
The Tetson is a nasty place, Captain May. You should know this. I do. Do you guys want a moment? Because I'll leave you to it. No. No. I mean, if you prefer. <laughs> <laughs> Casimir, can you swim? Uh, yes, a little bit. You did you not see? Do me you swim want from... me? Do you want me to kick you into the ocean? No, there's no need for that. I mean, you want to come? No, I'm just asking him to stop talking. <laughs> because there's no need for that. What is done is done. <laughs> and who is done is done. Yeah. Just putting it out there. If I was going to pay, I would tell you first. And I walk away. Yeah, no, I, uh -huh. I can't fault you on that. I apologize. <laughs> You'll follow after. Uh, all right. So, Casimir, it seems like the others are kind of off on the side, twiddling their thumbs. The two have left. It's just uh, you kind of leaning on an a, a barrel of apples or something on the docks here across from the nest. We got to wait for our next, uh, our next, our next clue, and we could do that whilst following giants. I wonder if I should tell Mordecai that Celine wanted him to pay for it. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, no. Well. He didn't want him to pay for it. He's the one with all the money. All the party money. So technically speaking, he actually has some of her funds. Hey. So no, it's less that he... he she didn't want him to pay for it. <clears throat> she wanted to grab her money, which he is holding, to pay for it. Hey, so yeah, so uh, this is kind of strange riddle because it doesn't obviously lead to another clue. No, it, it just doesn't, says doesn't, doesn't shout aloud. Mm. Um, shout it aloud. Oh, well, I, I, I also, I, well, I mean, I say the word for Vals and Draconic, um, but but that I also get the idea to say each of the each of the Draconic vow uh, vowels in order. Does Draconic of even which... have vowels? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'll have an equivalent of vowels. Where did you find this riddle in the first place? Where did this hobby go? At the tower. But perhaps the key is to end up saying it in the proper location. Well, I can mean... We go back to the tower? Yeah, yeah we, we could, could do that. Down, that works. So then, uh, shall we do that? Uh, I think we should follow the giants. Follow the giants. Yeah, but slowly could, up again, probably isn't back. the best idea. Go back. Uh, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to go out on my own for a little bit anyway, so why don't I go back to the tower and say the, the riddle. Selene, if you could tell me the, um... Draconic in case it needs to be in Draconic so that I can practice them and get it, you know, down phonetically. Uh, yep, yeah, Celine, what Celine will do is she'll pull out a picture parchment, parchment and very quickly write out the words in the word vowels in Draconic, each of the Draconic vowels, and okay. a common phonetic pronunciation of them. Um, I do the phonetic pronunciation in Gnomish, but I don't know Gnomish. That's okay. Phonetic pronunciations are the same in every language. That's why it's phonetic. There, there, Mordecai. There, there. <laughs> That's me okay. out of character, by you. There, there. <laughs> okay, so thanks for your help. Um, I'm going to head on back to the tower and see if I can put the fire out with his vowels. Um, and it's after the, the Fomarians. And I'll catch up with you. Uh, I'll, we can still do sendings, so we'll find out where where we went. Uh, as right. as okay. you're taking no. this this lesson in, in the notes here, and you get a little practice with Celine, and you do go through the the, the vowels, um, 
you do, Bright, actually see that uh, peeling away from Jacob's face where one of his tattoos was is a little silver snake. Get oh, and uh, Jacob, you've got something on your face. I think it's... I thought it might be a little bit of food, but it's silver snake. Uh, Jacob, she might be whacked out of her gourd. Uh, your face is still firmly there. Well, I do know full well that they're apparently dealing in Luciferus and potentially that they're all high. <laughs> so I wouldn't um, put it on. <laughs> wait, does Jacob know that Luciferus only works on tea, please? Oh, he does, yeah. but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're all not on something else. <laughs> <laughs> I can kind of see where he would get that idea. So yeah. I'm just going to go over to Jacob and see if his little snake talks to me. Uh, yes. Celine, come over here too. I want you to hear it, if possible. All right. All right. All right. Um. Look, I'm sure. I'm sure we could. I'm sure we could go to the tower and see the thing, and then go for the giants. Like they've already got enough distance on us. What's another, you know, a little bit of travel? So Celine, she wants you to like lean into Jacob's face, but Jacob's face looks pretty normal. Like, uh, so you're saying you're seeing something coming out of Jacob's face? Am I getting oh, that I right, right? Yeah, I saw it. Is it still there? Uh, it it is there as she's walking over. Uh, as it is, uh, it it's saying something in Draconic. Oh no! Um, like, all right, Jacob, this is gonna sound weird, but only Bright can see what's saying the next riddle. So I'm going to listen in. <laughs> What so has can... Bright consumed in the past 48 <laughs> hours? Uh, nothing. Oats, I mean, raisins, and peanuts. Fruit. Yeah, oats, raisins, and peanuts. Well, are you 100% sure they were peanuts? I've heard that uh, the yes. uh, particular nuts uh, may have ill effects upon the uh, gnomes. It's like, I am, I am, I am sure. But I am I, not. I'm, I'm guessing I'm listening and hearing nothing. <laughs> Uh, correct. I, you, I mean, you're hearing Jacob just sort of in a deadpan fashion question like, if, okay. uh, if if our little vegetarian gnome has been consuming any uh, local weeds, mushrooms, or poppies. Hey, well, I guess I'll have to try to repeat the words to Cillian. Yeah. Alright, so Jacob, uh, uh, Bright wants to listen to your face. Will you let her? Given the fact that the last time she had anything to do with a guard, she killed him, I'm kind of hesitant. Uh, it's like, I'll make sure she doesn't do anything. You, I trust even less. Oh, wow. Always make him. <laughs> <laughs> well? <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> I don't say that out loud. I have people. <laughs> We're going to get Thanks, banned guys. for that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonderful. Um, so, yeah, no, it's like, look, What's it gonna J Jacob, hurt? I, I, I 100% guarantee to you, on my life, that Bright will do nothing to you. I'll do you one better. On his existence. Okay. He looks at her, her Deputy Silver Leaf. Notice how quick she is to throw you into that direction. So either you do well, mean no, something very well that, to her, because or... It's because I, she have, I, have faith, I have faith that Bright won't do anything. I won't. I, I don't believe Mordecai to be in any I danger. Have, I have two here incidents that say otherwise, but very well. So just, all right, so Selena's actually going to pick up Bright and carry her over so she can... You'd have to pick me up, goodness <laughs> sakes. I'm not going to let her pick me up. Yeah, just... <laughs> all right, fine. Just go over and listen. Okay. All right, so Jacob, gonna you're not going to, like, Selene. push her away or something? I will, or? I will give you a guide. Um. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. He's going to be all right. going to be good. You say that, but... <laughs> 
You say that. I do. But evidence says otherwise. <laughs> okay. Um. So, <laughs> Bright listens to Jacob's face as a little silver dragon that's not there uh, speaks to her in a language she can't understand, but she can repeat verbatim. Makes sense. Welcome to D&D, everyone. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm good at repeating verbatim. Oh, no, I understand. It's just in... If we don't have all the context build up, it just sounds very, very strange. Or maybe it still is, but stranger. Um, all right. Go ahead and make another intelligence check then. And I, I, and I have a I have a guidance, so I'm gonna okay. run that too. Get yes. that guidance in. Team. Ooh. Nice. It's gonna be a good. Ooh, I'm at a four. Oh. All right. Twenty one, twenty one, twenty one. Because I don't have advantage here. Uh, so bright one floof. Uh, it you know listens to your tattoo for a little bit, and she's kind of like num, 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 like feeling the words in her mouth, and then she turns to Celine and repeats them as best as she can, which is probably going to be then, um, uh, very and very then good. Celine will repeat the um. Celine will repeat the riddle in common. And you hear the following. I drift. As slowly as a lazy river, I dance, upon as little as a puff of air. I tumble, better than the greatest acrobat, swirling, twirling down to the ground, where I lie till I get my second wind, so I can begin again. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Something that be like the water, the hydrological cycle. I was also thinking it might be a leaf. Yeah. Leaves drift, dance, and tumble. They twirl. They twirl to the ground and get picked up by the wind again. Or seeds. It could be like dandelion seeds. Yeah, seeds or leaves. Something plant-based. Okay. Well, um, if that is the case, there's certainly no dandelions growing here in the Dock District. If you want to pursue yeah. leaves, you could find probably things like um, packages of uh, tobacco or some, uh, some herbs and other things that are, are coming and going from ships. Well, I mean, a robin, a robin's nest was a place. Mm hmm. So, leaf, a leaf, if we're going to go with that route, could be either a. It could be a place, it could be a person, because, I mean, Mordecai's last name is Silverleaf. So. Oh. You know. Yeah. yeah. It could, True. So it like it's not restrict it seems like these answers aren't restricted yeah. to and that's the just thing. what they and are exactly. Mordecai, yeah. And Mordecai was a drifter and he dances and tumbles and uh then he he died and then he got up again. <laughs> yeah. Well I mean yes that is a thing that did happen. I mean it does make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, Bright, check inside Mordecai. Um, uh, one moment. Did, did Bright say that out oh. loud? Yeah, yeah, I would say all those things out loud. <laughs> Wait, Mordecai, you died? Yeah, but he right. got better. one way to interpret the vent. I got turned into a newt! A newt! I got better! <laughs> <laughs> Casimir is so clueless. <laughs> Wait, you died? It's like, yeah, but he got better. It's fine. Um, we used Revivify yeah. on him. Yeah, Revivify. We defibrillated his heart, and now it beats again. Okay. <laughs> and so at this point, Jacob walks right up to Casimir, looks Casimir dead in the eye. Okay. They're like, he's a fuck-mothering vampire. 
and it just walks away. <laughs> no, that makes a lot of uh, sense. That's just, Selene, it's just like, but Jacob! And she like leads into Whisper to Reese, and he's like, he didn't kill anyone to get that title. He doesn't deserve to be called such. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, any reaction, uh, Casimir? I'm about or? to end up having here, uh, Casimir, end up uh, having his life aim further on the uh, line, simply on the uh, deceit that you wish to end up maintaining. Casimir has every right to know exactly what he gotten himself into. Casimir is just like telling things. It's like, oh, this is all right, people. Allow me to reiterate this, in case you haven't figured this out. Yes, Selene. Over there we have whores, over there we have thugs, over there we have uh, leg breakers, over there we have smugglers, over there we end up having uh, uh, people who end up uh, buying organs of ill repute. Notice I said organs, and right over there we have a dead uh, person walking. None of these stand out here. Ah, investigator, if you're buying organs, like humanoid organs, it doesn't matter whether they're of ill repute or not. You should not be <laughs> buying human organs! And yet they sell. Perhaps I'm it would help if you left your church a little bit more frequently and actually observed the world around you. That being said, Casimir oh, has every sorry, right to understand... Ex Casimir has every right to understand exactly what he has signed up for. Yes, no one's saying no one here to him. gives a flying about it, and I'm not sure if you happen to notice this, Celine. It might have flown over your head a little bit, but thus far you have been uh, chasing things that most uh, people end up considering, hmm, pardon the pun, fairy tales? Yes, because that is the world we live in. Here's the, th here's the thing. It's not that wrong. has always been the case. You either adapt, or you get left in the dust. Then learn to adapt. He goes back to Casimir. So, now that we're all on the same page... <laughs> um, alright, so I guess what we'll do here... Uh, pursuit and takedown. <laughs> For all of you in the audience, again, uh, Roll20 chat is uh, <laughs> festive. And uh, so what we'll do is with, with the revelation of a... Uh, well, with the answering of one riddle, a revelation of another. Um, with the revelation that Mordecai might be an answer to a riddle. And also is undead. Uh, with Casimir going, oh, whoa. And Jacob making sure the record is straight. Um, even if, no, never mind. And, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I think we can hang up our hats on the session here. Um, as there are, there are giants in Venthar Hills, uh, and, uh, there's still a world that's, uh, burning, turning, and, uh, all manner of other things. Uh, so, uh, Lethality, you have the Gathering of Nerds tonight, correct? Uh, yes, correct. And what is your prompt and level for your weekly one-shot? The level is eight, and the prompt is Oriental. Ah, very good. So we'll be going east. Um, it's going to be very, very interesting. We have a couple of... <laughs> oh, God. You are continuing? We call that a twofer. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, it looked like a threefer to me. <laughs> you, you were saying that the nerds <laughs> the nerds are traveling east uh for this the one nerds shot. Are traveling east. <laughs> is is this a homebrew setting or are you going to a place like Rokugan or another sort of established um, uh like there Oriental Adventures? Setting, there, is, there is actually a setting um in here at the Orient, which I'm pretty sure is uh, an adaptation of the Orient from 3.5, which is Rokugan, so... Okay. 
I I uh, loved I love the Oriental Adventure supplement for third edition. Uh, but I'm a huge yeah. weeaboo, so I mean whatever. Yeah, I'm it's ba it's basically an adaptation of Oriental Adventures for five E. Okay. So, um, it is very interesting. Quite so. Uh, well, we'll look for the signal to go up, and we'll come over and give you a raid in about an hour or so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but no, uh, Derek. All I'm gonna say there is. In, in the stuff that she tells literally no one about, ever, you're not wrong. But then again, Celine is just a lonely girl who wants to be accepted. <laughs> Too bad. Who knows, maybe the, maybe the mixture of charisma and lack thereof will uh, cause chaos to happen. <laughs> 